Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that bears no fruit, he cuts away. And every branch that does not bear fruit, that does bear fruit, he prunes, to make it bear even more. You are pruned already by means of the word that I have spoken to you. Make your home in me as I make mine in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit all by itself, but must remain part of the vine, neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me, with me in him, bears fruit in plenty. For cut off from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is like a branch that has been thrown away. He withers. These branches are collected and thrown on the fire, and they are burnt. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will and you shall get it. It is to the glory of my Father that you should bear much fruit, and then you will be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If we look at ourselves, now we are already mature, we are very knowledgeable, in actually understanding who really God is. So our faith blossomed over the years in our lives. Why? It's because that we are actually the witnesses of Jesus of today, in this century. We are carrying the legacy of the disciples. So if we are witnesses of today, then what is needed now is to remain being in connected to God instead of disconnecting ourselves to God. Now all of us know St. Paul very well. At the beginning, he was very disconnected from God. And then he connected to God again. Why? Because Jesus told him, why are you persecuting me? Very, very simple words that change the heart of St. Paul. Now the question we ask ourselves today, can we connect back ourselves to God again if we know or feel that we are at a distance? Because when you are at a distance, your whole life is very crumbly. Because if you don't have God, things are not going to come easily for you. Now, opportunity is always given to us to see what will be the best option that we can do in our lives. Love is the key essence that binds us to God again. No love, no binding. No binding, no connection. Always remember this. So, whatever choices we make in life, at current, God is going to remain with us forever. Whether you choose God or you don't choose God, God is going to be there for you. Why? So that we can continue to remain in God. As I always tell people, decision is up to you to choose what you want in life. If you have God, everything will be okay. If you don't have God, do something about it. <laughs>